Good morning everyone, what's going on? I am back with the opening rip of the Vault Card Club subscription box. I did an opening box video on this. Uh, this is another sports card subscription box. Uh, they offered a subscription plan or a one-time purchase for the three major sports, baseball, football, basketball. Unfortunately, right now, they are pretty much sold out of everything from all of basketball, all of football, and some of baseball. Uh, what I was able to buy, uh, they have multiple tiers as well. Again, you can get the one-time purchase three months or six months. Um, and multiple tiers of each sport when they are in stock. So what I got was baseball, and this was the deluxe box, which came to $55 with shipping. It came with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven packs. I believe they are all hobby packs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, the majority of them have the hobby tag. I can't tell for sure on Diamond Kings. Um, but they also came with a Vault Junior pack and a Vault Card Club pack. Um, I do like this little twist that this uh, company has. Um, I opened two other subscription boxes yesterday. One was baseball, one was multi-sports, although most of the packs were baseball. And one of the boxes didn't have much of anything. The other had a couple autographs, which wasn't bad. So nothing too great so far in these subscription card boxes, but I'm willing to give and try as many as I can. Um, I'm excited because each one brings a little twist. Um, and so far with this one, with the card club pack and the junior pack, Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome back. I, uh, this is the opening of the Vault Card Club uh, Sports Card Subscription Box. I did a uh, unboxing of this earlier and I'm excited to get into this rip. The Vault Card Club is another uh, subscription card box service that I've decided to try. I've tried a few of these. This is now my third one. Uh, you can get a bunch of different sports from a bunch of different companies. And one of the boxes, I got two autographs, the other box, uh, nothing, and so maybe the third box will be a mix of both. Uh, the Vault Card Club box, they order, uh, it, I'm very impressed that it shipped within three days, which was great. Uh, it came from Minnesota, I live in Massachusetts, and it arrived just in three days. I ordered on a Friday, it was delivered on a Tuesday. Unfortunately, right now, their website says they are out of stock on everything basketball and everything football. No surprise, but I'm fortunate I couldn't get anything available. So I decided to try one of their baseball packs uh, boxes. Uh, they have multiple different tiers of options and multiple subscriptions options. You can get a one-time purchase. You can get a three-month or a six-month subscription, again, for all the sports when they're in stock. Um, all I could get was the baseball. I didn't want to get the bottom end. This is the next tier up. This is the deluxe box. Uh, it's described as their experience box, which is their beginner level. This is the deluxe box, which is the experience box on steroids. The increase in hobby packs and quantity and higher end products also increase. And I can substitute one of my hobby packs for a vault pack. I also have a chance at a golden ticket. And so what I do like about this subscription box service is they have what's called a vault and a vault pack and a vault golden ticket. And so this, I on the website it says they are out of vault packs currently, but I wrote a note in my order saying to swap one. And so thank you Vault Card Club. I don't know if they got my note or if they included it anyway, so I'm excited to see what's in that. Hopefully a guaranteed hit of some sort. It also came with a Vault Junior pack, which is meant to be for children. I'm guessing it's like a basic, it looks like a opening day pack in there. So um, I don't have a child, so I'll open that as well. It actually, it looks like I can see a card sliding on the side that looks like a foil as well. So that's kind of cool no matter what. Again, this came to $55 shipped. Um, I did the one-time box, um, and it came with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven packs. I believe all of them are hobby. The majority of them are from 2021, uh, various different brands, and then a couple right here are from 2020 and 2016. Um, the other subscription boxes I pulled also had these two packs in every single box so far, and I haven't hit anything on them. So I guess there's a lot lying around, but maybe there'll be something decent in here. Uh, so just going to go ahead and get right into the rip. Again, this is Volcart Clubs uh, Deluxe Cl did I get that right? Deluxe one-time purchase baseball box, which was $55. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's do, since most of this is 2021, I'll open that by itself. Uh, and then we'll get into, so we're going to start with Topps 2016 Heritage. This is a hobby pack and high number baseball. So 
So Alan Hansen RC, Tanner Rourke, Tyler Goodell RC, Vance Worley, Max Kepler RC, Matt Moore, Derek Law RC, Enrique Hernandez, and Ryan O'Rourke. So this pack literally looks like just base RC cards and no inserts. I don't know if any of these are short printed variations. I haven't. I admit I'm not up on all those. I'll have to take a look after. But it looks like just a card of base packs so far. Uh, next, I'm going to do the Tops 2020 Heritage, also a hobby pack, nine cards. It's also high number. I was hoping to maybe get in any of these subscription boxes something from 2018 for an Otani chase. Um, obviously, maybe further back for Trout, but I'm sure that's much higher priced. Uh, so here we go. Reggie McLean, RC, Perez, Colin McHugh. I'm a Red Sox guy, and I don't even recognize his name. Jared Dyson. Los Angeles Luminaries. Uh, I'm guessing that's just the regular part of the set. Tim Lopes, RC, Garrett Cole, Brock Holt, and Cespedes. Uh, again, just looks like a base pack. No parallels, no hits. I don't know, maybe a short print or a variation in there, but I will not bore everyone with trying to look up all those details right now. Uh, okay, now we're into 2021. The rest of these packs are all 2021 stuff. Uh, I'm going to do Topps 2021 Hobby Pack uh, Update Series. Again, everything in this box was baseball. Uh, and, and doing a couple different subscription point boxes around this price point so far have led to a couple decent cards, but nothing too great. Martin Perez, Francisco Lindor, Yerman Mercedes RC, Rookie Debut, Kalanick RC, that's not too bad, but nothing great. I don't believe it's numbered parallels, no. Miller, Bradley, Flashers. Oh, there's an insert. I don't even know if it's a red or part of the series, but just the retro 86 design. Rookie Debut, Shane McClanahan. Josh Palacios, RC, and Elias Diaz. Wow, so three hobby packs in, and so far they're just just like a regular retail pack. Uh, all base cards with base RCs. Uh, I don't blame the subscription box for that. It's just a lot. Uh, I guess it's just harder and harder to pull. I really wanted to do these boxes to get into hobby packs because uh, usually they're a little out of my price point or full boxes. Uh, and so I figured I'd try my luck with these packs and see how it goes. Uh, 2021 Series 2 Hobby Pack. Alright, Michael Chavis, Frangie Cordero, Yuan Mankata, Tom Murphy... Shogo Ayama, I apologize if I'm not getting these names right. Mike Mustakis, Andrew Miller, Dallas Keiko, JP Carr. Here we go, something numbered. Not bad. It looks like a decent low number. 26 of 99. I believe that is the vintage stock. And of course, it's for a player I don't know much about. It is Ty Buttry. Any Angels fans out there know Ty Buttry, or if anybody out there wants any of these cards, feel free to message me, comment me, or anything, and I'll be happy to post them, make an offer, or post them to eBay and give you an offer. Uh, I'm not married to any of these cards, and would be happy to sell any of them to anyone for the right price. Uh, I do have an eBay page, and the majority of this stuff will get up there eventually, so... But happy I finally got a parallel hit. Again, Ty Buttry, not exactly the most flashy thing, but 26 to 99 on the Chrome stock. I don't know all the parallels. I just know I pulled another one of those before, so that's why I know that one is numbered to 99. And then the rest of the cards in the pack, Championship Fireworks, Brendan Rodgers, Alejandro Kirk, RC, and Greg Polanco. 
so I believe that was one, two, three. Yep, four packs out of seven ripped. And we have one serial numbered so far. I think I'm going to do the Allen and Ginter next. That's 2021 also in a hobby pack. I'm not the biggest fan of this series. They always include random stuff, which I don't really like, but some people do. Stuff like pictures of trees and sharks and other people. So, um, yeah, it's not my favorite thing. As you can see, first one, Jesse Sanchez, he's a reporter. Eloy Jimenez, Raphael Devers, Mike, I think that's Mike Cameron. Daz Cameron, whoops. I wonder if they're related. Andrew McCutcheon. Oh, there's a mini card. Dick Allen. I don't know who this is. Alberto, Adel, Adelberto Mondesi. That looks like an insert from their series. And then a Stan Musial Historical Hits, August 5th, 62. I've actually never seen one of these cards, so I don't know. Again, it's probably part of the base set. Oh, no, it looks like it's an insert. Stan Musial Historical Hits. Not numbered, not serial, no parallel, no color or anything. So that's okay. All right, down to the last two packs, and I've got here Diamond Kings 2021 Baseball. I thought this was a hobby pack, but it, it, I don't see the little H designation. I don't know if Panini does that or not, or on this brand, but uh, again, not the biggest fan of this series. Uh, but some of the cards in here do look okay. I have been impressed so far with all these subscription boxes in the packs, the majority of them, all the packs are in very good condition. Uh, nothing seems to be bent, broken, other than the usual or occasional. I open Mosaic, I've opened Chrome, I've opened Prism, and those sometimes come crooked or bent anyway. Uh, and that's just fault of the manufacturer. Not these subscription boxes. So, Christy Matheson, Lucas Giolito, Tony Gwynn, Juan Soto, Edward Olivares, RC. Oh. Nothing, just a blank, uh, what looks like a patch card, but completely banked just to fill the pack. Uh, the Art of Hitting, Mel Ott, which I believe is an insert, Stan Musial, and a Casey Mize Diamond Kings debut. Yikes, so... It looks like so far, uh, all these hobby packs are basically no different than retail packs. I haven't found anything too great that I haven't found before. Um, when buying just retail from Target or Walmart or, you know, repurposed stuff from card shops or eBay or whatever. But uh, this is our last pack, 2021 Chrome. It's a hobby pack. I was just making sure it wasn't update. So, four cards in here, maybe we'll get lucky. Other than that, it is down to the Vault Card Club Pack and the Youth Pack. JT Real Muto. Let's see, Kevin Biggio. Jesus Lazardo Baseball, which is just an insert. And Josh Bell. Wow. Not much. Um, again, no fault of the company, just uh, it seems that the majority of baseball products these days are just very watered down, uh, hobby or retail packs alike. Um, let's go ahead and get into the Vault Junior pack. Watch, this will have the big hit. <laughs> Oops, knocked over my pile here. Okay, so you've got a Topps Chrome Aaron Nola which looks like a rainbow foil. I'm guessing that's from... It's hard to read here. I'm going to say it's going to be a few years back. It looks like 2019. 2019 top. So that was given as part of the kids probably just to get them introduced to foil. Uh, and I don't believe it's numbered or anything. Oh, there's an autograph in here. Austin Ross. 
It's an on sticker Don Russ Elite baseball from 2016. Extra edition franchise futures. Oh, it's numbered as well 550 to 819. Hard to see maybe on the camera. Now, I don't know anything about Austin Ross. I don't know if he's good or even in the system anymore. But I do like that they've done that for the child pack already. Um, as I said, even for me, because uh, I just opened seven hobby packs and basically pulled one cereal uh, that's of a player I don't know and not even that low numbered cereal. So that's kind of nice. You feel like you've got a decent little hit already. Um, even though the players aren't that great, or if they are that great, or I don't know much about them. The other thing that came in the child pack, junior pack, is the 2021 opening day pack. So again, watch, maybe there'll be a decent hit in here, and then bunk my whole theory of hobby versus retail. So Tristan McKenzie, RC, uh, Tony Gorson, Wilson Contreras, Joey Votto, Dane Dunning, RC, Salvador Perez, and Legends of Baseball, Craig Biggio. All right. And our last pack is the Vault Card Club Pack, which I believe is pretty much some form of a guaranteed hit. I'm excited for this most, basically, since the pulls on the packs were nothing. Um, or nothing that I'm interested in. And so let's see what they got in here. Okay. Wow, okay, this is nice. I've got a Allen and Ginter. Uh, I don't know the name. Somebody, Blake DeWitt. Jeez, I should know. It's a patch card, and it looks like it might be a mini card. I'm not sure what year series, but that's pretty nice. Thank you, Vault C Card Club. I don't think that's numbered, but I do like the look of this card. That's pretty cool. Okay, next we have a Bowman Chrome first autograph. And it looks like it's directly on card. Scott Blewett. <laughs> Rough name. Um, I don't, again, don't, not sure of the year. I'll look it up in a minute. But Bowman Chrome first, Scott Blewett, and autograph. I don't believe it's numbered. 2014 tops. So probably not the greatest. Uh, career ahead of him if he hasn't had a chance already. Again, a Rico Garcia uh, Don Russ 2020 auto and on the retro uh, insert throwback whatever you want to call it, parallel 2020 um, I don't know anything about Rico Garcia unfortunately. It's an auto but it's an, on a sticker auto Oh, and there's a nice one more uh, Bowman Chrome first another on card auto Victor Arano I feel like I've heard his name but again don't know much about him but pretty cool to see Victor Arano I will definitely always collect autos and add them to collections so let's see $55 seven hobby packs um, really didn't have much of anything other than base cards inserts and base RC's uh, one parallel that's numbered to 99 and then the Vault Card Club also included their Kids Pack, which came with a serial numbered auto of a player and a Topps Chrome uh, Rainbow Foil. And then also came with three autographs. Um, two of them are Bowman Chrome First, which are on-card autos, and a patch card from Allen and Ginter, as well as a Don Russ sticker auto. So all in all, uh, 55 bucks. I probably will get another one, but I definitely want to try a different sport. Uh, I'm a bigger baseball, uh, basketball and football guy, even though those two are harder to find and more expensive. But uh, thank you all for watching, and I look forward to doing another video open and rip uh, with something else different. Thanks again.